foggy morning here. It's funny because it was actually quite clear this morning. It's just starting to just spit a bit, just a little sprinkling, not a lot. But I think we're supposed to get a little bit heavier rain today. It actually feels like spring again today. If I just were popped down here today, I would have to guess it was early April, late March. And can you see through the fog, the rise of the hill in the distance? And the gulls out having their morning breakfast? Of course, algae, determined as ever. is on his flat rock, waiting for the tide to go out so he can have his breakfast. Again, I've said in other vlogs that I do love the sea when it's like this. Sure, the view disappears somewhat because you can't see out as far into the sea, but there's a, a beautiful mystery to seeing across the neighbor's house on the point and then beyond it's just a white blur and if I had to guess I bet in another few hours they will also disappear and we'll get that quiet calm that often envelops this place when the fog really rolls in it really affects the um, the sound here well here we are in 2021 and new year New dreams, new hopes. And what I really think, oh, there's some whelk casings. Always fun to get, better when you let them dry. And here you can see this whole row of the seaweed, which will dry out nicely. Now this, uh, I could come and grab handfuls of this and put them in five gallon buckets. Rinse out with fresh water a few times, then add water, cork it off, leave it for a few weeks. It would be a horrible smell, but a great, great fertilizer for the garden. Not sure if you can hear the sound. It's a, quite a different sound when I walk on the, uh, the seaweed. And look at this lovely pile of it here. We've had, because of the full moon, over the past week, we've had some amazing tides. Very, very high tides and low tides. And here's the uh, detritus of the last tidal push. I hope you can hear the sea. Let's walk out into it a bit. Even I'm wearing my wellies. And it is winter. I still need to walk out into the sea. Oh, I think I can start to hear the rain coming, which means we'll have to go inside. Okay, it's starting to really spit down now, so I better head back in. Starting out 2021 with a simple fog-bound beach rock. But really, I could, and I actually do, stand here for a while and just listen to the sounds of the waves and the sea and the birds. Oh, and I just heard the loons. On to more of whatever this video shall become. So as part of my uh, move towards trying to do more art this year, um, I'm going to be using my, besides sketching and actual sketchbooks, which I often do, I also sometimes use, I have a little surface, it's, it's one of the original surfaces, I think it's surface three, it's a little Microsoft tablet, 
It's a horrible computer. I'd never recommend it. But it, for a little a digital sketch pad, it's great because I can just start sketching. So I've started to do here. And I can take it outside and sit by the sea and sketch digitally. And then I can transfer it easily to my other computer with my better drawing tablet. So let's go sit on the steps and sketch for a while and uh, watch the sea. Let's go. Come on, let's sit on the steps. This is actually a great place to sit and sketch. And I often sit here with my actual physical sketchbooks as well, but it's kind of nice with my digital tablet. So let's just sit down and have a little sketch. Okay, as we sit here, I thought I would try something new. I'm going to have the screen of the foggy view available as well as the sketch that I'm making. Now remember, this is sped up quite a bit. Uh, and as I start with any sketch, I usually start with shapes and other uh, just kind of a really, really rough sketch. The benefit of using digital drawings is I have uh, three or four pages open or layers of the same type of paper, and then I do a rough sketch. And then by having a second layer open, I can start putting in pencil details and shutting off the rough sketch underneath. But that gives me the freedom of movement to be really rough and messy with the original sketch. It's nice to have the layers shut off. And then I also go in and uh, at this stage, as this is just a study, not a final piece, I'll start a uh, defining the pencil more and then I'm putting in more colors with the pat. I like to use chalk at this stage just to get colors and you probably noticed the little series of colors on the side. Color is really important to me so often in the sketching stage I'm picking out color palettes for a final painting just to give me the the choice of how I want the colors to work then so that often informs what color dresses and things are. I'm curious if you do like the idea of when I share my art to having it this way where you can see a view in the background as well as having the sketch. But I think overall this first sketch is pretty good. I'm rather chuffed with this sketch. I think it's quite nice. Now just to talk about what I hope to be going forward this year. I want to be doing more artwork and I want to try to do more finished pieces each month and I want to share that with all of you. Now I also am going to be still doing outings to antique shops and local places of interest on the Cape. But of course a lot of that depends on how open we remain. Art obviously is a main part of my channel since it's an artist's life. <laughs> Let me know if you like the idea of the still seeing a view or something going on in the background as I'm sketching or would you rather have the whole page be the sketch? Oh and now to show you the uh, inspiration for this lady with the quail which is probably what the final piece will be called. Here is sweet Una and her favorite thing to do when I see her in the morning I go into my studio and she flies up out of her little pen which she stays in all night and when I hold her she walks up my arm and immediately goes into my hair. It's her favorite thing to do. She snuggles in there she makes little peeping cooing sounds. This painting was easily inspired by Una. Well I hope you enjoyed today's drawing and sketch and a little bit of Una. So now uh, let's head outside and end today's video. Well I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and uh, it's crazy that we are now in 2021 but here we are. We've made it. I'm glad you've come along with me and I hope there'll be many more who wish to join me. So uh, let's make 2021 much better, at least in the joy of each other, one another's company, and in being creative. Here's to 2021, a year of drawing and art, a year of slowly building to a finish that we are happy with, and of course, to just enjoying one another's company. <laughs> All right, it's getting quite windy. Time to get back inside and finish drawing and editing. So I'll see you in the chats and in the comments. And remember, stay creative.